Now, if you want to make your local area network based projects to be controlled over internet from anywhere in this world, then you are definitely on the correct video. The project may be your own made website which was just running on your computer previously or maybe it's your own made HTML based home automation system uh, in which you were able to control appliances within the Wi-Fi range only or maybe it's my previous project in which I was able to stream live video from ESPI board on my Blink IT platform within the Wi-Fi network range only. Everything, every project which was previously was only able to control within the local internet network will now be accessible to anyone over internet with couple of steps so are you excited already now before starting the video if you're watching me for the first time make sure to hit the subscribe button as i regularly upload different kind of videos in the magical field of electronics on this channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel and that being said let us start with this video now for the demo purpose i'll be using this web server example code provided by the espresso system on my esp32 board so let me just provide my wi-fi credentials here after that, I'll select the right board and port and after that, I'll hit the upload button. So now if I open the serial monitor, as you can see, the device got its own local IP address assigned by the router. Now if I go to this link on my web browser, as you can see, I'm getting the response as hello from ESP8266. And if I go to slash inline, I'm getting the response as this works well. So there's nothing crazy in it as I will be able to access the web page only when I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now many of you watching this video may have already made this kind of project. But now what I'm going to do is I'll perform a couple of steps and then I will be able to access the same web page over internet. Now the process which I'm going to show you all in this video can be performed on your Windows and Mac systems as well. In this video, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 4B board you can use any of your Raspberry Pi board, that's not an issue. And in the end of the video, I'll be sharing you the reason about why I am using the Raspberry Pi board or rather why I am recommending you to use Raspberry Pi board. That being said, let us jump onto the computer screen and configure the system. So first, you need to go to one website called Angrock or maybe Angrock, whatever. Here, you need to make an account and after that, log into that account. After you log into your account, you need to download a file according to your system. In my case, as I am using the Raspberry Pi board, I will download this Linux ARM version. After that, open up the terminal. Now go to the folder where you have downloaded this file. In my case, the file is in downloads folder. Now enter this command to unzip that file. After that, you have to enter this command which will store your unique API key into your system. So that's it. This was all about the configuration which you can perform within 2 minutes. Now if I run just one single command, I will be able to access this web page from anywhere in the globe. Okay, so now you have to copy that local IP address that you want to make global. After that, go back to the terminal of your system on which Angrog was installed. Now enter this command and paste your local IP address here. After that press enter. And we are done. Now I can access the web page running on my ESP32 board using this link. Let me just copy it. I'll go back to web browser. I'll disconnect my system from that Wi-Fi router and connect it with my iPhone. And now if I request this link. As you can see, I got the same response on the web browser which I was getting previously. And now if I go to slash inline, as you can see, this works well. So I'm getting the same response which I was previously getting within the local internet network. I never thought it was so easy to turn my local internet network based projects to be controlled over internet. It was really very, very easy to make. We do have HTTPS version as well, which works just as it is. Now to make this thing a bit more secured, you can add the username and password to your web page. First, press Ctrl C on the terminal to stop this. After that, enter this command. Here, just change the username and password according to your choice and press enter. Okay, let's see what happens now. Let me just copy this link and paste it in the web browser. As you can see, it is now asking for the credentials which we have provided in the command. 
I will be able to access the web page only when I enter the correct credentials. Now this will definitely give more security to your projects. Now there are many other features of this Angrok service but well they are paid. So do explore their website, do explore their features and if you find them interesting, if you find them useful, well you can pay for the service and use their features. So now comes the point that why I have used Raspberry Pi board for this project. Well, the reason for this is that we need to put the system and the router turned on all the time. Yes, the Angrok service should run continuously on your system to control your projects over internet. And if I take the example of my laptop, then that, that doesn't seem practical. I mean, I can't just put my laptop turned on all the time. That's really not a practical option. And on the other side, if I take the example of my Raspberry Pi board, then yes, I can just put that Raspberry Pi board in my office and just leave it on all the time. There's no issue to put that credit card size computer to be turned on all the time. So that seems a more practical option as compared to your, you know, computer and laptop. And that's why I use Raspberry Pi board and that's why I will, you know, recommend you to use the Raspberry Pi board if you want to run this project for a longer period of time. So this was the simplest technique to control your local area network based projects from a wider area network. I am really in love with this technique and I will definitely going to make a couple of projects using it. Well, you don't need to wait till Sunday for the videos as I am going to run a campaign during this week and that campaign is called hashtag land to van. So during this campaign, during this week, I will be converting some of my land based projects to be controlled over internet and upload it on my YouTube channel. Well, I will invite you all to join this campaign by converting your local area network based projects to be controlled over internet using this technique. Just make the project, upload it on your social media handle and don't forget to add this hashtag land to van. I'll be sharing all the projects with this hashtag on my social media handle. So let us come together, create awareness about this amazing technique and let other people know that how easy it is to convert your land based projects to van. Make sure you hit the like button if you are already excited to make it by yourself. Okay, so ending this video here, just stay tuned as I'm soon going to upload one or two projects using this technique. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and now just wait for my next video and then explore and then share with me. Take SMS.